Well, hello, this is Travis Campbell of marketingprofessor.com, and I'm glad that you're listening to this uh, recording of a call that I have with my new friend, Sharon Mogan. And we're going to be talking about his company and, more importantly, his product called Clicktail. And I want you to stay on and listen to the end because we're going to talk about a couple of features that I think that uh, that you'll find very interesting. This is unlike any other web analytics product I've ever seen. And we're also going to talk about and give you information uh, for a special offer just for marketingprofessor.com readers and subscribers. So without further ado, Sharon, uh, welcome to the call. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Well, tell us, tell folks a little bit about uh, about yourself, what you do, and then a little bit about your company. Um, well, my name is Sharon. I'm, I'm, I work for ClickTel as the VP of Business Development. Currently, we're um, web analytics, web usability company. We started about three years ago. And the company is different than other analytics solutions in, in the type of information that we capture. So we generate real-time reports and real-time videos of visitor sessions. Well, uh, we're looking at your screen here, and uh, I'd love you to just go ahead and share a couple of things. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show uh, is, is a real-time video of a user. That, okay. Uh, so I just I just click the play button here on my side, and you can actually see the mouse the mouse move inside. I'm not I'm not touching my mouse at the moment, so you can see that the, the user is actually going up and down the screen, and then it's going from one page to another. And you can actually see that experience exactly like you're standing behind the person's uh, shoulder. And these our customers tell us that these we also see on our own side. These have huge value. Whoever's optimizing, <coughs> excuse me. Whoever's optimizing his, his website and looking at how people browse through it. But as I said, I'm not, I wasn't touching my mouse. What you see inside the, uh, the actual screen is somebody else who's actually been browsing our, our website. Uh, I actually moved now to another page. I uh, hope you get to see it by now. Uh huh. And I just wanted to, to, to show you a page where somebody's actually typing through through uh, through our contact us form. As long as the person submit the information, uh, we actually show it to the to the visitor, um, to, to whoever's watching our, our analytics, and you can actually see exactly what he's typing. Uh, if he's typing a backspace, also you can see on the input line here above that if he's typing a backspace or or a tab, or, or mouse, or clicking the mouse, we can actually exactly see what he's what he's doing, and, and, and it's a real time experience. What is it about being able to see over someone's shoulder that's going to help people uh, with their websites and ultimately close more business? What? How is this really helpful? The way that customers use ClickTel is that they're they're you know, they build their own website and they look at specific pages and they actually see a few videos to see how visitors interact with them. Right. So the only way, so we can sometimes, for example, use other types of analytics to look at uh, one of the pages and you see that uh, you have, um, let's say that you're, you have a shopping cart, for example, and you, and you see that the conversion dropped in one of the pages and um, you want to see what happened. And the only way to understand, so there's a lot of ways to try to tag stuff and try to figure out what happened, but the best way is to just go up and, and just look at a few visitors and, and, and see what they're, you know, what they're doing. Well, I already use Google Analytics, so that's enough, and what do I need to watch a video for? How do you respond to those folks? Okay, so specifically about the videos, there's other, there's other stuff that we provide. Specifically about the videos, um, it's, it's hard to understand until you actually see stuff on your page. Um, but you only understand really what they do after you, see, you actually see with your own eyes you know, 10 or 20 visitors look through your, your website. For example, you have a scrollable page. You see that people are don't scroll at all. Don't go down. You know, don't don't scroll below the fold and see what you have there, or skipping through content that you thought were, was interesting. Uh, so you can see that people actually saw the page, but you, you never understand that they're actually you know interested in that thing or, or not interested in the other. So it's right. it's really kind of stuff that you have to see for yourself. What else do you want to show us, Sharon? So the first thing I wanted to show you is the firm form analytics. You have your conversion rate on the report that you get in other analytics as well, but here you have you get a breakdown of three different percentages of this this number. So the first number tells you how how many people actually left without even interacting with the form. Second number tells you how many people tried to uh, left the form in the middle, 
And the last number tells you how many people failed to actually submit the forms or tried and failed. Um, the second report tells you, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. The second report tells you which field the visitors uh, filled last before they left the form. So you can see where they're dropping off from. Uh, how much time they spend on each part of the, uh, on each field. So, mm -hmm. of course, if the blank report shows you which fields were left blank, and then the last report shows you which fields people came back to refill. So, usually when something is wrong with the form, one of the fields is problematic, uh, there is a JavaScript error, there's some kind of, you, you'll see it across more than one of these reports. So this gives you much, much, this gives you much more insight to what's, go what's going on inside your online forms. And I just want to speak to that really quick. The, the form filling is important, right? Because you're going to measure conversion rates of people hitting that landing page and actually hitting the thank you page after filling out the form. So if visitors are having a problem filling out the form or you're asking too much information, uh, that's going to um, impact your ability to convert those people because you're not going to get them on your list, etc. Yeah, the, the second thing I wanted to show you are the heat maps. The objective of... Um of these heat maps is to actually see how your content is being consumed on the page, on, the, on your website. So the first thing that you see here is our uh, terms of use page here at Clicktail, and I base this report on attention. Okay, so this, the, the higher, the, the more time they spend on each part, the, the redder the color is. Okay, so you see that they spend on average something like 19 seconds in this area here. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit. You see that it gets a bit colder. As soon as you go yes. to other interest, other parts, people are reading that part less. And then it gets really, really hot in this area here. Um, this is the section about uh, privacy and disclosure. So everybody's Excellent. interested. Excellent. Okay, this. I see that now. You know, we'd never understood that unless I actually looked at these heat maps. I would get, you know, number of page views and maybe time on page, etc. But we never know what they're actually looking at. And think of a, a you know, a blog or. A, a scroll of page with with uh, content there, and then we get customers that you know that actually see stuff they never would have thought that they think this content in this is interested. Then they see that people are actually you know browsing over it and not really looking at it, not spending time reading that. Or if they have a nice picture, then they see that people are actually stopping to look at that, etc. Excellent. So that's one thing they can do with it. And again, we have um, customers telling us that they never knew that 50% of the people don't scroll their pages, and they have stuff there below the fold that they could, uh, you know, that they want people to see. Um, to wrap up our time, uh, what have you prepared, or give an idea at least of what uh, what you're offering uh, marketingprofessor.com subscribers and readers? Okay, so we have a special offering that we're we're going we're providing to all um, marketing professor readers, and and it's going to be available from from uh, from marketing professor uh, uh, site. Excellent. And uh, for folks that are wa you're watching this video or listening to this recording, uh, there's going to be a free way for you uh, to get started and get engaged with uh, with Clicktail and have a look at it for your own self on your site or your blog. And uh, I'm going to provide a link either on this page or right now it's going to be within this video. You'll see it there uh, for you to go and check out the special offer that uh, Sharon and his team have prepared. Excellent. Well, any final words, Sharon, for folks listening? Well, I'm, I'm you know, hoping to see you on Clicktail. Excellent. Well, I think it's a great value and this is something, uh, web analytics, that you guys are providing a level of detail that just doesn't exist out there. And it's uh, even more affordable. Uh, through the special offer that you so kindly put together for our subscribers and readers. Well, my name is Travis Campbell, speaking to you live from Cleveland, Ohio, with my friend Sharon Magan over in Israel. What city are you in in Israel? Tel Aviv. Sharon Magan from, from Tel Aviv. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and get started right away with Clicktail, and I look forward to speaking with you next time on the web.